Good day, collective. Messages for the collective of your highest good. Please say and thank you. Any negative energy, I am returning it right back to center. Thank you, source and ancestors, for the reading. Okay, all cards have jumped out. Trust the mystery of life. I welcome clear visions and inspired actions. I am courageous, steady, and strong. I allow stillness to heal and reveal. Yes, you're healing and revealing the truth. I am on the right path and divinely guided. Good job, collective. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. The card on the bottom. I am of the I am of the earth and in harmony with nature. Yes, I love that. I am of the earth and in harmony with nature. Because you're divinely guided on the right path. Beautiful. It would only stay up, collective. Okay, I'm going to give up. It doesn't. Okay, there we go. Patience. All right, next deck. And look at the next card. We are all sisters and reflect the divine in one another. We are all sisters. Look at that card there. The rhythm of your breath directs the rhythm of your life. Oh, I love these. Okay, I'm not going to show you anymore because I could just keep pulling. But this is from the top. I trust the changes unfolding in my life. Keep going, collective. You got it. Okay? Next set. Messages for the collective of the highest good. Please and thank you. Any negative energy, I'm returning it right back to sender. Thank you, sorts of ancestors. Okay? Compassion. Release judgment about yourself and others. And focus on love and light that is within everyone. Showing compassion for others and yourself. Okay? Focus on love and light that is within everyone. And the card on the bottom is peace. There is no need to worry. Everything is working out beautifully. Look. Look at the baby. The baby happy. Okay, you have peace. Do not worry. Everything is working out in your favor. Just keep going. Next deck. Messages for the collective. Please and thank you. Any negative energy, I'm returning it back to sender. Caution needed. Ask real travel. I will go in the book for this card. Astral travel. Caution is needed. Okay, I am here. Uh, astral travel can be start, can be described as a willful out of body experience, allowing a person to observe the physical surroundings, entering the gateway to the astral plane or astral world. With intention is a careful practice that must be allowed with intention, clarity, and soulful purpose. A sacred portal or hidden, hidden realms assessing the uh, astral body allows you to travel and experience different realms of consciousness and universal experiences. Clairvoyant psych ability, psychic abilities and spirit communications all require astral Realm connection. 
Okay, the shadow aspect is demonstrating lack of understanding and awareness of personal experience. The angel assistance is spiritual protection and safe travel. The affirmation is I am divinely protected. My soul is safe to explore my path with ease and grace. Okay, you are protected and your soul is safe to explore your path with ease and grace. Okay, it says right now you are being asked to keep your spiritual radio tuned to listen for unwanted interference. Observe your surroundings and be aware of manip manipula manipulation by others through psychic energy, speech, and planned social meetings. Caution is required in all areas of communication. Keep sensitive information confidential. Need to know basis, people. I'm collective. Okay? Need to know basis. The card on the bottom is sacred divinity. There are two paths ahead. It's the phoenix. You have a rock. You have rose from the ashes. I will go to the book to get that definition. But there are two paths ahead. Okay, I am here. Embracing your sacred divinity is honoring the divine feminine and masculine that resides within. Okay, each person shares birth aspect of divinity. They are not stereotypical versions of what it means to be a female or male. The divine feminine inter, inter intercorporates aspects of unconditional love, compassion, and gentleness, but these are always qualities of the divine masculine. Okay. The uh, shadow aspect is illogical exploitation and oppression. The angel assistance is love, tolerance, and personal boundaries. The affirmation is I honor and respect the sacred divinity that pulses through me. Connecting and creating a strong sisterhood or brotherhood is fantastic, but you must remember you radiate your energetic duality. If you find yourself ignoring or judging this side of yourself, ask yourself, what are you hiding? Identify with these qualities without judgment and work on healing and balancing these aspects. Now is the time to address issues. As you are weighed down with imbalanced energies, you may feel emotional disconnected from either the masculine or feminine side. Right now, you are being asked to honor the sacred divinity that exists within you. Okay. Next card. Okay, I'm going to the next cards. Let's see where I am. I'm going to go next here. Okay, I'm ready. Get the stand. These are the cards on the bottom. Messages for the collective, please and thank you. Rising up. You are rising up, collective. I will go in the book and get that meaning. Let's do it now. The action is write down main things that are troubling you. And as you write, give permission to feel deeply and without censor. When you have finished, safely burn the paper to release feelings. As you work with your shadow side, your darkness will find that the light starts to filter in. It takes work and commitment, but this powerful process can be life-changing. Instead of numbing your feelings with damaging behaviors, and instead of ignoring strong emotion, you must face them head on. When you learn to feel them fully, they will release their control over you. Okay, it also says is um you must learn to recognize and explore uncomfortable emotions. You can stuff them down for a little while and you can control them for a short spell. 
but like a dam bursting, they will eventually come out and explode into behaviors such as an unchecked anger, eating disorder, addiction, and numbing activities. Learn to sit quietly with your intense and often painful feelings, sadness, guilt, shame, grief, or hopelessness rise into your consciousness for a reason. Explore them and be curious about them as it is all part of the wonderful human experience. This takes practice, but be assured that you will be safe as you journey through the feelings, for they have messages for you. Okay? And that's for rising up. We will go to the card on the bottom next. It's a new dawn. It's a new dawn. I will go to the book for New Dawn. The new card encourages you to take a risk as a new chapter of life could be even better. By practicing mindfulness, you can slow down and ask yourself what you really want from life and then work on what is holding you back. Life is about making choices, but sometimes the choice you make are just getting reactions that are not very well thought through. You then believe you are stuck with them. A big red flag this card signifies is the compulsion to act nice and smile instead of facing a situation that may initially need conflict to resolve. The need to be light can be stronger than living an authentic life. So be true to yourself first and foremost. The action is make one small comfortable change in life that you have been thinking about for a while, but haven't yet felt daring enough to implement. Now is the time to be brave. Be brave. The next card on the bottom is the energy shift. Okay, collective. Moving to the next step. Messages for the collective of their highest good. Step into abundance, collective. This card is full of rainbows. There's one here. Where my hand? Okay. There's one here, 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 and there's one up here. I seen it earlier today. Full of rainbows, and they're just pouring it down. Pouring down that abundance on you. This is you. Step into your overflow of abundance. Card on the bottom. Trust your vibes. Next deck. These will be angel. I want to go and get them um, for 42. I'll give you the angel message and the blessing for both of those cards. Okay, the angel message is believe in abundance that's flowing your way. Open your arms, mind, and heart to receive. Prosperity is everywhere. Okay. The follow angel power combo can assist you to align with your initial initial pros, pros, prosperity. Let yourself unconditionally accept and give abundance as easily as you breathe. The other kind of meetings can cultivate can mean cultivate and share your passions, offer your help, open to magic and miracles, practice gratitude. Recognize the power of your thoughts, surrender victimhood, and take responsibility for your life. The blessing is, with your arms open wide, say aloud three times with conviction. Within my world, there's an overflow of love and abundance for everyone to enjoy. 
There's enough for everyone to enjoy the abundance. The next card is Trust Your Vibes. The angel message for Trust Your Vibes says, Enjoy a practice that supports you to trust your inner guidance and sparks a new passion. The blessing is with your hands on your heart. Say aloud three times with conviction. I bless myself with love and kindness every time I listen, trust, and follow my guidance. The blessing is I bless myself with loving kindness every time I listen, trust, and follow my guidance. Trust your guidance, collective. Okay? The card on the bottom. Messages for the collective of their highest good. All of those want to drop, I'm going to take them. Success. Yes. Love it. You got success. Next card. Forgiveness. Got to forgive. Next card. Not the right time. Abundance. Look at us. It's dropping it. So much money. She can't even hold it. Just dropping it. Abundance and prosperity. Yes. The answer is yes. Another yes. Double confirmation. The answer is yes. Card on the bottom. Remain positive. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I want to get some angel messages out. And then I'm going to get out of here. I have one more stick that's here ready to stand up. So we're going to use this one. This is the final deck. And these are angel message cards. Angel power. Wisdom cards. Okay, here we go. I hope that's you can see it. Here we go. Final cards. Messages for the collector. The highest good. Please and thank you. Any negative energy, I'm returning it back. Thank you, source and ancestors, for the reading. First card is out. Perfect timing. Divine timing ordained by the angels. It is never too late or too early. It's time. It's the perfect time. Whatever you're thinking about, it's time to do it. Okay? It's the perfect time. It's ordained by the angels. It's never too late. Do it. Messages for the collective. Can I get two more cards? Please and thank you. One card is out. Angel of Wisdom. Pursue knowledge and spiritual growth. It's time to keep learning about your spiritual path. Boy, is this a powerful card. Angel Wisdom. That's a big Bible. Is this a big Bible? It is. Look at that. Oh, I love this. Okay. Get one more. We're going to get one more card and we're getting out of here. Messages for the collective. Please say thank you. Whoa, okay, collective. We're gonna take them all. Here we go. Responsibility. Take responsibility for your own happiness. You hold the keys to your happiness, collective. No one else. Light of hope. Hope gives us positive feelings and energies to accomplish what we desire. Positive feelings and energy. Keep the hope. And then team spirit. Work together as a team. Cooperation, enthusiasm, loyalty, and um, kindness will ensure a successful outcome. Working together. Okay? Team spirit. Card on the bottom. Final card. Luck is on your side. Let the magic happen. Great way to end collective. Have a great day.